Good evening, Big Dummies. This is Chief Big Dummy Dick Riculous here, reporting live for WBIGD TV. We're going to talk about some car audio news tonight. So stay tuned to the news. This is not fake news. This is true, real, accurate, everyday news. This is not a Mickey Mouse program. All right, first topic on the news tonight is SEMA 2022. We had Kicker introducing a 2022 Ford Bronco that included nine L7X subwoofers, nine 3600-watt Warhorse amplifiers. Did it play under 40 hertz? Also, gold letter subs are returning for 2023 for the 50-year anniversary. There is nothing ridiculous about that. The website CEOutlook.com recently reported the top five amps for 2022 as far as sales figures go. Now, my question is, where do they get the reporting data? Did they just get it from mom and pop shops? Did they get it from flea market sales? Did they get it from yard sales? I don't know, because they don't tell us. Actually, it's not them. It's the source they get this information from. But again, they don't tell us <laughs> where this information comes from. So we're not sure if these are really the top five amps or not. This is ridiculous. Rockford Fosgate Power Series amplifiers are changing more in price than gas here recently. Price fluctuation is crazy. For example, the T2500 BDCP that we showed off had gone from $15.99 up to $19.99 MSRP US dollars. Now it's $12.99 US dollars. Keeps dropping, fluctuating like a mother. Now we're wondering, is there new models? Maybe? Coming out? These current models are 10 years old, and that is ridiculous. Have you seen Down for Sound recently? They have more amps than I have hair. Wait. They have more amps than I have style. Wait. They have more amps than I have truthful statements. <laughs> They've got some crazy models. JP77 is one of them. It does 2,000 watts on the subchannel and is a 7-channel amplifier. That's right. 120 by 6 plus 1,000, no, 2,000 watts on the subwoofer. Woo! Also, they have a JP10.4, which is a 6,000 watt four channel amplifier. Plenty of power to power your stunt walls. Now there is the JP3 and some other models coming, so stay tuned. I'm sure we're gonna see those coming to a Wilson Audio Labs channel near you. Now this is breaking news. Sky High at Car Audio by Soundcubed. But also, DD Audio starts selling stuff online. What is this world coming to? What is this, the year 2022 or something? You big dummy. Gately Audio, the guy who makes the killer acrylic enclosures, he now makes subwoofers, and most recently he introduced some amplifiers. We haven't seen the models yet, but those look very interesting. So this is not ridiculous. Shout out to Bobby Gately. You are the master at what you do, sir. We've seen that Sony has introduced some new mobile ES amplifiers, including a five channel model that's rated 100 watts by four plus 450 by one at four ohms, or 165 by 4 plus 750 by 1 at 2 ohms. We also have a review over at bestcaraudio.com, which is totally not an ad for Sony. You can tell when you read the article that this is truly the thoughts of the person who wrote the article and not a paid actor slash paid ad. Did you see the memo about this? Who, who, who's talking about paid actors? Have you noticed recently on Wilson Audio Labs, this guy has been using clickbait titles? Who's he think he is? Scotty Kilmer? No. <laughs> Let's talk about Scar's dominance being fluttered away. Let's talk about banned Amazon items and one point something million views for people watching a four channel app that they have no idea even what it is. This, my friends, is algorithm ridiculousness. But guess what? Big D's happy. Yeah, boy. On to more news. We recently tested the JBL Bass Pro 12. And that big dummy, he didn't even show you the correct tuning frequency. It was between 38 and 40 hertz. He doesn't even know how to use that device, that IMSG Plus SMD to more engineering. He needs to learn how to read the instructions. Look at it. Yeah, well. What the heck is that? <laughs> so he can give you guys the correct information. Noted. Information was pulled out of the video because it was incorrect. Although it still does show 64 hertz as a tuning frequency, which is not correct. Thanks for this segment. For allowing me to correct this for big dummy. Thank you for watching this segment of Dick Ridiculous News here on Wilson Audio Labs. Until next time, I'm waiting for more ridiculous news, so post some in the comments below so we can talk about it in the future. Thank you guys as always for watching. Till next time, Dick Ridiculous, fitting to go get another feather for my cap. Speaking of payment, Wilson Audio Labs has neglected to pay me for a while. That's why Dick Ridiculous hasn't shown up. So I'm here to receive my payment and to tell you guys. I'm back. You know how them sound waves go? Mm -hmm. a lot of I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave. Put a system
I don't wanna be a slave I've been doing shit my way uh, 